the Lord. Did you come here just to look dignified or did you come here to give him thanks? You know what? There's something about an ugly praise. Hallelujah. Come on and get ugly for the Lord. Come on and sweat for the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Mama didn't die for you. Daddy didn't die for you. It was the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He's worthy. He's worthy. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. As we, you may be seated. Before I bring Elder to have our prayer, morning worship prayer, just want to take this opportunity, amen, to remind all of us that the season that is coming before us, amen, we were blessed to celebrate another Thanksgiving. Thank you, Jesus. Now we are preparing to go into Christmas. We all know what Christmas means. It's not about gifts, material things. It's about the birth of Christ. But we know that we're going to go and show some love and just don't overdo it. Amen. Be safety mind. Because this is the times when every one of the devil's enemies, uh, the devil's workers are out in the street. You got pickpockets. You got swindlers. You got these games that they're playing. And see, saints, we should not get caught with none of them. Why? Because we know it, it ain't about money. It's not about gift. It's not about gain. I'll gain the spiritual gain. So be on the alert. Be safe. What little bit that God has blessed us with is up to us to protect it. Amen. Everything that sounds good isn't good. Everything that looks good isn't good. So in all things we should acknowledge him. Say, Lord, look to him for leading our lives. You know, you got those, what you call those people that go in the store and take clothes out. Uh, boosters, be careful of boosters. I got some uh, Calvin Klein here. And all they got is the tag. You got to be careful. God wants us to protect one another. Don't you know that we are all responsible for one another. I'll say it again. We're responsible for one another. Hallelujah. So I want you to meditate right now. It's prayer time in the sanctuary. And we want you to pray. Get in the right mind. Because there is a place in Christ. Well, he wants to meet us. He came down one time so that he could bring us up. So there is a place where he wants to meet us. He wants us to get out of self. And let's get spiritual by faith. I want you to pray for the sick and the afflicted pray for all of those who have lost loved ones, the bereaved family across this world. Pray for your unsaved family. Pray that God's will be done in your life. Pray for those that are incarcerated. Pray for those 
that are in the convalescent home, in the senior citizen home. Pray for those that are less fortunate. Somebody woke up this morning and had no need. Pray for them. At this time, we're going to have at the large come and lead us in the air to where God wants to meet us. Elder Lawrence. Say praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord again. At this time, we're going to ask everyone to stand. All oh, those that can stand, stand. Shall we bow our heads in the word of prayer? Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, we come. We come, oh God, asking your blessings to be upon this service. But God, we come thanking you, oh God, for waking us up this morning. You closed us in our right minds and gave us the activities of all our limbs. And so we say thanks to thee. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We say thanks. Ha! We say thanks for all you've done. All you're going to do in this place. Hallelujah! You're worthy of all the praise, God. You're worthy of all the glory, God. All the glory and all the honor, God. It belongs to thee. In the name of Jesus. Most of all, God, we thank you, oh God, for salvation on today. Hey! Hey! We thank you! The salvation! Hallelujah, God! Hallelujah, God! Hallelujah, God! Hallelujah, God! Hallelujah, God! We thank you! Hey! For salvation, God! Oh, in the name of Jesus! Oh, in the name of Jesus. Where will we be? Where, God? Where will we be without you, God? Hallelujah, God. So we thank you. We thank you for keeping us, oh God. We thank you, God. Hallelujah, God. You're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy, God. You're worthy of all the praise, God. And so we thank you. Mm. So we thank you. Mm. So we thank you. Hallelujah, God. Yes. We thank you. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. We thank you, God. In the name of Jesus. 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 Hey! In the name of Jesus. Hey! In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes! In the name of Jesus. Hey! In the name of Jesus. And we praise you, God, for what you're going to do in this place. Mm, God. What you're going to do in this place. We're, stay, we're, we're, we're in anticipation, oh God, of what you're going to do for us on today. We know, God, that you have great things in store for us, oh God. But we have to ask you. For you said in your word, God, 
if we would just ask. If we would just ask what we need, Father. But you already know what we need, but we're just going to ask you. Hallelujah, God. So we ask God that you would move on our behalf. You know where we come short, Father. You know our needs on today. So God, meet every need in this place. You do it, Father. You make it happen, God. In the name of Jesus. Oh my God, we pray, we bless your name, God. In the land, oh God, for what you're going to do for us, oh God. In the name of Jesus, God. Hallelujah, God. And so we ask that you would touch, heal, and deliver in this place. That you would meet every need, Father. In the name of Jesus. And even those, Father, that are yet on their way, we pray, Father, that you keep them covered under your precious blood. That you would suffer no hurt, no harm, no danger to come towards them, Father. That they too, oh God, may be found in your house on today. And those that we haven't seen in a while, Father, we haven't forgotten them. We pray your blessings, oh God, upon them, oh God, that they too, oh God, will find their way back in the name of Jesus. So we're praying, Father, for those, oh God, requests that have gone for those that are in the hospital, those that are in the homes, those, oh God, that are homeless, God, those that are going without, those, oh God, that are afflicted in bodies, those, oh God, that stand in need. You meet the need on today, God. In the name of Jesus. And most of all, God, most of all, bless the man of God that shall bring forth the word on today. Let your anointing, God, let your anointing, God, flow from the crown of his head, God, to the sole of his feet. Let your anointing, God, flow afresh in this place. Yes! Let it fall, God. Let it fall. Let it fall, God. Hey. Because we can do nothing, oh God. We can do nothing, oh God, without your anointing. Hallelujah, God. So we need it, God. We need your anointing, oh 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 God. To, to move in us, oh God. Yes. And as you move in this place, we pray your anointing, oh God, on the praise leader. That you would anoint them from on high, God. That your anointing, oh God, will run through this place. Those that are on the instruments on today, God. Let your anointing do the work, God. In the name of Jesus. For this is nothing, oh God, too hard for thee. So have your way throughout this day. And we won't fail to give your name glory, honor, and praise. For it all belongs to thee. For we ask in Jesus' precious name. And everyone say amen. amen. Say amen again. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Hallelujah, God. Oh, God. Hallelujah, God. Oh, we praise you. And we glorify you for what you're going to do in this place. In Jesus' precious name. Come on, Sister Bennett. Thank you, Lord. Here's my worship.
take joy in it. Make it be a dwelling place. Oh, yes, oh, yes. I want to put a smile on your face. I present my heart to you. Lord, I present my heart to you. Here's my worship. Take joy in it. Make it be a dwelling place. I want to put a smile.
again for you being here. We thank God for life, health, and strength. We thank God for seeing you all, saints. Don't take nobody for granted, but thank God that he allowed us to come together one more time. The song said he allowed us to come together one more time. Just one more day. Thank God for seeing Caden and KK. God is so good, saints. We owe him praise. Hallelujah. For being our healer. Seeing someone with stage four disease and God bring her up and heal her body. We owe God praise. Hallelujah. Thank God. Hallelujah. For that. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I feel like going on, saints. Trials are pressing me. Hallelujah. And I'm sure I'm not the only one, but guess what? Even through all the tests and trials, I still, hallelujah, feel like going on. You put your hands together. Come on.
like gold. I feel like going on church. I feel like I feel like going on. I feel like going. I feel like going on. Trials, trials, trials are testing me. Oh, trials, trials, trials are testing me. Gonna be so I'm gonna run on hallelujah 
Because I know when he in, I'm going to win. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Run on, church. Hallelujah. Run on, church. Hallelujah. Run on, church. Hallelujah. The race is not given to the swift, not in the battle to the strong, but it's to him or her to endure to the end. Hallelujah. Endure hardness, saints, as a good soldier. Soldiers don't quit. In the midst of the battle, soldiers don't walk away and says, oh, foot, I had enough. Hallelujah. But endure. Be not weary and well-doing. Be not weary and well-doing. Hallelujah. But in due season, you're going to reap. We're going to reap. We're going to reap if we faint not. Hallelujah. And I want to reap a harvest of blessings. Hallelujah. I want to reap a harvest of blessings, saints. On this earth, before we see Jesus' face, thank God for that song. Hallelujah. I feel, saints, I feel like going on. Hallelujah. Be like David in the Bible, in the book of Psalms. David encouraging himself in the Lord. And sometimes it takes you saying, Mother Freeman, Sister Tracy, it's going to be all right. I'm going to get through this. Hallelujah. With the help of God. Encourage yourself, saints. Don't be defeated, hallelujah. But encourage yourself in the Lord. At this time, we're going to have the reading of our scripture coming from Sister Mazetta Matthews. Be not weary, saints, hallelujah. He's an awesome God, hallelujah. And he does all things well today, Lord Jesus. The scripture will be coming from Psalms 30. Oh, glory to God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Psalm 30. And when you get there, some of you may notice in your Bibles that the title of this chapter is the Lord, hallelujah, is my helper. He's my helper, hallelujah, Jesus. All of my help comes from him. We thank God, hallelujah, Psalms 30, beginning at the first verse. And the word reads, I will extol thee, O Lord, for thou hast lifted me up and has not made my foes to rejoice over me. O God, my Lord, O Lord, my God, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. O Lord, thou hast brought up my soul from the grave. Thou hast kept me alive, hallelujah, that I should not go down into the pit. Hallelujah. Sing unto the Lord, O ye saints of his, and give thanks, hallelujah, at the remembrance of his holiness. For his anger endures but a moment in his faith in his favor is a lifetime weeping may endure for a night but joy cometh in the morning weeping may endure for a night but joy cometh in the morning and in my persecution I say I shall never be moved Lord, by thy favor, thou hast made my mountain to stand strong. Thou didst hide thy face, and I was troubled. I cried to thee, O Lord, and unto the Lord I made my supplication. What profit is there in my blood when I go down to the pit? Shall the dust praise thee? Shall it declare thy truth? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me. Lord, be thou my helper. Oh, glory to God. Thou hast turned for me my mourning into dancing. Thou hast put off my shackcloth and girded me with gladness to the end that my glory may sing praise to thee and not 
be silent. Don't be silent today. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, my God, I will give thanks unto thee forever. And may the Lord bless the reading of the word. Amen. We thank God for the reading of his word. For saints, God is his word. Hallelujah. And there's life in the word of God. There is encouragement in the word of God. So in the word of God, we have a hiding place. We thank God for that powerful word on today. He is our help. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. He's our refuge and our strength. A very present help. That means he's a right now God. Hallelujah. A right now God. Hallelujah. A right now God. Hallelujah. He is our refuge, saints. He is our strength. But you got to know that in Jesus' name. And I want to encourage you, hold to his hand. God's unchanging hands. Build your hopes on things eternal. I'm going to sing that. Then we're going to turn it right over to the pulpit. Hold to his hands. Oh, yes. God's unchanging hands. You are to hold to his hands. Oh, yes. One day, you let it go. But if we hold into God's unchanging hands, he'll never let us go. You want to hold to his hands. Oh, yes. God's unchanging hands. We ought to build our hopes on things, e things eternal, eternal. It's gonna get all sweaty. Gonna get dirty. Hallelujah. But I'm gonna reach out by faith. 
Hallelujah. I see it. I see God's hand reaching out for it. I'm going to take a hold of God's hand. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord, everyone. I say, praise the Lord, everyone. Hallelujah. It's a great day. It's a new day. A day in which we have never seen before. Oh, we think that it's just a, a saint. But it's a new day. Hallelujah. I'm not going to do the same thing that I did yesterday that I did today. I, I, I'm going to attempt to do better. I'm going to attempt to be better. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I had told my wife that that song that she just sung, Hold On To His Hand, it was ringing in my heart all week. I thought I told you. I'm sorry. Hallelujah. Because I had told her the word. I could remember. Hold on to his hand. God done change your hand. Feel your hope. Yeah, you forgot. Yeah, I, it was ringing in my heart. Boy, boy, your wife can make you think you're really getting older than what you know. I don't <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, saints. I found the answer. I learned to pray with faith to guide me. I found a way. The sun is shining over me each day. Woo. I found the answer and I learned to pray. Yeah, I found the answer. I learned to pray with faith to guide me. I found the way the sun is shining over me each day. I found the answer and I learned to pray. Oh, yeah, whoa. Oh, I was weak and weary, all had gone astray. Walking in the darkness, I could not find my way. But then a light came shining, lead me from despair. All my sins forgiven, and it had come to me. I found the answer. I learned to pray. With faith to guide me, I found the way. The sun is shining over me each day. I found the answer, and I learned to pray. Hallelujah. That's a powerful song. Hallelujah. You got to learn to pray. You got to learn how to pray. Thank you, Jesus. Because, honey, if you ain't praying right, the line is busy. Glory to God. I honor my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I love it. Hallelujah. And, and I say that because I know I love it. I tell my wife, I say, honey, I love you. And every once in a while, I like to get in the face. 
look into my eye and I'd say, don't you see the love in my eye? Don't you know you can see love? Hallelujah. I don't know what kind of love you got, honey. But I can see love. Not only feel it, but I can see love. If you don't see God's love, you're still walking in blindness. You got scales on your eyes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I told my wife this week that the Lord got on me. Saints, we ain't praying enough. I say we ain't praying enough. You know, it's important to pray. We think that because we go in and say, Hakabashaya, Lord, I love you. Thank you, Jesus. Then you want to know why you always slipping and falling. You know that song that war used to sing, slipping in the darkness? Because you ain't praying. You done messed around and slipped in the darkness. You got to pray. I'm saying you got to pray. And I'm sharing this with you and I'm telling you what the Lord told me. That every time we enter into these gates of this sanctuary, before you do anything, you get on your knees and you pray. Then you go ahead about your business. That's what the Lord told me. He said, every time you come into this house, I don't care if you come in to sweep the floor or, 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 or do paperwork. Before you do anything, you this is my house. And when I say my house, this is God's house. Then you get on your knees and you acknowledge who you are. The message that I got this morning, you're going to understand this. Hallelujah. And I say, Lord, I'm going to do that. Because, see, when we, it's, it's, you have to get into a habit. See, there are good habits and there are bad habits. I want some good habits. And see, we got to break our old habits. When you come into the house of God, this is holy ground. Yes, it's a physical building, but this is holy ground. And we got to act like it's holy ground. It's my responsibility to teach you the word of God. And not only teach you, but demonstrate it through the life that I live. I ask y'all to remember the face of family. Amen. The family is sick. Thank you, Jesus. And Elder Face and has COVID and he called me on Wednesday or Thursday and told me about it. Amen. So we did the necessary precaution because he was here on Tuesday but he didn't get it here. He didn't bring it here but we were being sure anyway we sanitized the entire place. Amen. And, and the Lord told me it's, it's, it's still out there honey. I don't care what the doctors say. The virus is still out there. It's the same. All they done did is just gave it another name. I was listening to Trump uh, uh, this weekend, and he told you that it, China did it. <laughs> That's what he was saying. And people don't want to say that. See, when you get power, when, when, when human beings get power, we, we, we have a tendency to humble ourselves to power. But see, we humble to the wrong power. Instead of humbling to the almighty power, we humble to the world power. Thank you, Jesus. But the virus is still out there. Let's be precautious. 
Let's be safe. Amen. I, I don't rip and run like I used to. Amen. I, I, around people, and I'm safe. But any people that I'm not around, honey, I put my mask on and I thank God for my wife. Where that mask at? Thank you, Jesus. That's love. Hallelujah. And we got to do that. I, 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 I want to share something with you. I love y'all. Y'all got a few minutes, right? <laughs> I, 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 on Tuesday, well, I think it was Monday night, I came home from here at the church and I was relaxing in my china, I mean, in my recliner. And uh, my wife came, I said, you need a pedicure. And I had a ingrown toenail. And it had gotten so deep to the side of my toe. The blood, it's like a blister with blood in it. So I had an appointment for the VA uh, in uh, March. And uh, I woke up Tuesday, man, that thing was hurting. So it had turned real red and swollen up. So I told my son, I say, come on and drive me over to the hospital. So I drove over to the hospital. And I had to go to the emergency ward. And I sat there and I sat there. So finally, they said, what you hear? I say, uh, my toenail needs trimming. And I got an ingrown Toenail. So they said, well, we don't clip toes here. So that's in podiatry. Well, I said, well, can't you call up to podiatry? Tell them it's an emergency? Oh, no, we can't do that. I said, well, can't you tell them it's an emergency? I can write them a letter and do that. I said, okay, I'm going to write my senator. So they just gave me a piece of paper. They didn't do nothing. I said, well, don't you know I'm a diabetic? They said, yeah, we know that. We get all your records. <laughs> so, and so I said, okay. So on my way home, I, I, I'm talking also. I'm not going to talk about but I'm talking about love. You know, I know my son loved me. You know that. <laughs> so he said, Dad, we're going to get I'm going to go to him. I'm going to get that. He said, I know somebody that does toenails. They got a little thing, you know, a friend of his. That young lady came to my house. I had some toenail clippers. She got that thing out of there. God will take care of his people. It was a, a street lady. I'm telling you, I'm gonna tell you who it is. You don't know who God got that's gonna come and pick you up when you need to be picked up. You better stop putting your nose up at him. Hallelujah. Man, and 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 when she got it out, she said, Oh my god, I got it. I say, I know it because I feel it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't look down on nobody. Hallelujah. Because that very person who ain't had nothing to eat, who slept in a cardboard, cardboard box, who ain't got no shoes on his feet, can leave me and tell me something that I need to know. Thank you, Jesus. We got to pray. And remember, in the army, when the order comes down to do something, they say, well, I'm giving the company a direct order. This is what you got to do. I'm not going to do that. I'm making a request. What the Lord told me to do, that when we enter into this house, come through the gates, that we come here 
you ain't got to come to the altar. You can just kneel back there. But acknowledge where you are. Can you do that for me? Amen. Because you'll be blessed. And we're all, I'm going to be blessed. Because I told you I didn't hold it back. Hallelujah. That's just part of the whooping you're going to get this morning. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Come on and say thank you, Lord. The Bible says that for him that he loves, he does what? He chastises. What is chastise? <laughs> Correct. Thank you, Jesus. I would like to direct your attention this morning to the book of going out, book of Exodus. For a few moments. Amen. The third chapter of the book of Exodus. I think sometimes we have forgotten what God has called us to do. And while you're finding that, just bow your head with me. Father God, we come to say thank you, Lord, because where would we be if it wasn't for you, if you had not been on our side? Lord, you called us. You, you called us, Lord. We didn't call you. You called us. And Lord, when I make it perfect, hear the call, I harden not my heart. And I came willingly being in the circumstance that I was in. Father, would you bless your word? Father, would you remember every prayer request that was sent up before thee on this day? Lord, remember those who had a mind to be here. But for some unknown reason, they couldn't make it. Lord, remember those that are on the airways. Lord, would you prick their hearts and tell them that it's good to listen and see on the airway. But there's nothing like being with the family of God, touching and agreeing with one another. Lord, bless the airways, Lord. Bless the bereaved family. And Lord, we thank you for continuing to bless this house and the people who partake and eat in this vineyard. Bless your word, God. Bless your word, Lord. Bless your mad servant. Lord, because I can speak. Speak through me, Lord, with the power of your Holy Spirit that, I, that thine have indwell within me. Speak, my God. Speak, Jesus. Speak, Lord. Through the power of your spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Come on and give the Lord a hand clap. You may be seated. Uh, Exodus, going back to the Old Testament. Hallelujah. I say the coming out. That's right. The Exodus. Moses led God's people out of bondage under the hands of the Egyptian Pharaoh. Exodus chapter 3. Beginning at verse number 1, and we're just going to read. When the Lord says stop, we're going to do this. Those who can, let's honor the word. Stand to your feet. I'm not going to make you stand long. You know, we, our attention span is not too long. And I'm, I'm learning. Sometimes we have to put a little, although we say the, theatrical in our preachment to wake you up sometimes. Because we do have a tendency to go to sleep. 
you know, sometimes the word is kind of hard, it's not good, and we have a tendency to drift. And uh, you might hear me holler, hallelujah! That's to kind of like wake you up a little bit. Because I, I don't want you to, you ever miss the boat or miss the bus or miss the train? Because of you wasn't aware of something? Amen. Exodus 3, chapter 1. It says, now Moses kept the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian. And he led the flock to the backside of the desert, came to the mountain of God, even to Hobart. And The angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush. And he looked, and behold, the bush burned with fire, and the bush was not consumed. And Moses said, superstitious now, I will now turn aside and see this great sight, why the bush is not burnt. And when the Lord saw that he had turned aside to see, God called unto him out of the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. And he said, here am I. And he said, draw not nigh hither. I want you to listen to this. Put off thy shoes for off thy feet for the place whereupon thou standest is holy ground. I'm going to stop right there. Don't lose the spot. Wherever God is, it's holy. It could be dirt. Wherever God is, because of who he is, and the sovereignty of him, where he is, that ever becomes holy. I wanted to make that clear. Moreover, he said, I am the God of thy father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon God. And God said, God spoke to Moses from the bush. I have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt and have heard their cry by reason of their taskmaker. For I know thy sorrow. I know thy sorrow. God knows all of our sorrow, our troubles, and what we are going through. Thank you, Jesus. I would like now to skip to verse number 14 and in my finish. And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thy shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am have sent me to you. What I you, you can be seated. I am that I am. God can be anything. Because he's all power. God can be anything that he wants to be. He decided to appear before Moses in a miraculous way. How many of us out stump our toe? Then that's did you get attention when you stomp your toe? God knows how to get our attention. And this is a something to leave in your hearing this morning. It's say God knows how to get your attention. 
Moses was called by God through the bush. The bush that did not burn. How did God call you? God called my attention at the time when I was in the funeral. How did God call you? He knows how to get our attention. We did not call ourselves. You are called to salvation by God. You might have been in some trouble. You might have been in jail. But wherever you were, you did not choose God. He chose you. The presence of God it's not restricted by circumstance, nor by man's inabilities. God acts independently of man. He may use man and he may bless man, but his action and doings are not dependent upon what man does or what man said. He don't. Mm -mm. I want you to listen. God called us. And in my writing here, I said people. But I'm talking to our family this morning. God's family. God called us to serve. <laughs> Do we really know what that means? I, 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 before I go, I want you to just sit and think about that. What does serving mean? Who was the last person you served? Or did someone serve you? When I wake up every day, I wake up, hallelujah, by the gift of God, looking to serve someone, not to be served. I don't care if I'm broke, I don't need, I need something, but I want to serve God because I'm on a mission. And my mission is to serve so that God can tell me, well done, my good and faithful servant. Enter, hallelujah, into the joy of the Lord. Serving God called us, hallelujah. Just think who it is that calls us to serve him. We might look at, well, you serve, I serve Elder Lawrence. But you're really not serving Elder Lawrence. Who are you serving? Come on and say it. Who are you serving? Hallelujah. Honey, you got to work out your soul's salvation. Hallelujah. The Lord himself is who we are serving. The great God and Savior who created the universe and sustains everything throughout the universe. Things that you don't even know about. He's controlling that. Giving us the opportunity to go with it, God. To serve him through serving others. Hallelujah. It is the sovereign Lord and majesty of all. God himself stooped down, stooped low to pick us up, mold us and shape us, put our feet on a solid rock, the rock of the Lord Jesus Christ. We won't serve people we won't wake up in the morning when he wakes up and say, who shall I serve today? Lord, what you want me to do? We got to serve. Serving him, it should excite us. Huh, man. Reverend Goodrum, Reverend Goodrum. Call me to take up your daughter. Every time you look around, he called me to do something. Glory to God. But you got to rebuke that. Don't 
don't you know that's why he gave us the Holy Ghost. You got to rebuke that. Because yeah, people get on your nerves. But you got the power. Lord, forgive me for thinking that. I'm, and go do your job and serve for the Lord. You're not serving, Reverend Goodrum. You got to learn to get out of self. This is a spiritual thing, honey. God is a spirit. They that worship him must worship him in truth and in spirit. I'm almost through. To all who are seeking God, and to all who want to serve God, to all who want God calling upon their lives, and that's what we all should want. The scripture shows us in the scripture that I read, and I want you to read Exodus chapter 3 when you get home. Hallelujah. And it tells us how we can receive the call of God. How did God call you? Think about that. Why did God call you? He called Moses through a burning bush. He had to get Moses' attention. Hallelujah. A bush that burns a fire and was not consumed. That'll get your attention, huh? That story right today gets my attention. Hallelujah. What kind of person does God call? Moses for the first 40 years. Hallelujah. When he was born, he had to fight as a little baby. He had to fight for his life. But God had a calling on his life. God protected him. For his first 40 years, he grew up after he was Obtained from the, from the Nile River by Pharaoh's daughter. And he grew up in substance. He was a prince. Hallelujah. For 40 years. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. But see, Moses was forced to leave Egypt. See, you, you, you can't have all this glamour and glitter. You think you're going to serve God because there comes a time when God got to get you to himself. God got to clean you up. He got to get you to himself. So what happened? Moses killed. And he had to flee Egypt. And he flew and he flee down to Midian. And it was a great distance, but it was a safe land. God knows how to protect and keep you. Hallelujah. Moses met and agreed to work for Jethro, the priest of Midian. He, he agreed to do that. Glory to God. For Moses' second 40 years, he was a shepherd. And if anybody have been in the research, hallelujah, on being a shepherd, it's hard work. The shepherd had to prepare where the sheep were going to eat. Uh, he, he, he had to be alert and be aware of the wild animals. Thank you, Jesus. He, he, he had to always prepare to go out after one of the sheep because you always got one sheep, one hard-headed one that's going to drift from the herd. Hallelujah. And he had to go out, glory to God, and search up that one sheep Glory to God and bring him back to the herd of sheep. God is showing Moses something. That that one sheep, even though you got a thousand, that one sheep is important. It's important. God don't want none of his sheep.
to be lost. Come on and say, keep me, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Moses, for 40 years, took after the sheep. And he was in, I called it, he was in the hard knock college of training to be a shepherd. Training to take care of Jethro's sheep means that he will take good care of God's people. Glory to God. God wants the shepherd to shepherd his people. Glory to God. Look after his people. Tell them uh, what they need to do and how they need to do it. Uh, glory to God. Uh, everybody can't be a shepherd. Uh, glory to God. Uh, I say everybody can't be a shepherd. Uh, glory to God. You can't call yourself to shepherd God's sheep. Uh, God has to call you to shepherd his sheep. Uh, for 40 years. But then God called Moses. Hallelujah. And he called him to a heroic task. Hallelujah. Note that Moses, the man Moses was, the kind of person that God called. Moses wasn't a lazy man. If you're going to be a shepherd, honey, you can't be lazy. Glory to God. You got to go when, when you don't want to go. Hallelujah. You got to go when no, when you can't send nobody. You got to go. You got to go. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Um, uh, if, if he had a shepherd's heart. He, 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 he loved the sheep. He loved them animals. And when you love them animals, he took care of the animals. And when you love God's people, you're going to take care of God's people. You're going to do what you're supposed to do. You're going to tell them you got to have a strong heart. You got to have a loving heart. Oh, glory to God. You got to have a compassionate heart. Glory. It took a person like Moses with a very special heart to be a shepherd. His heart had to be tough and it had to be tender. I know sometimes my wife tell me this story, so but sometimes don't be cruel, don't be say, watch how what you say. But sometimes you got to get tough with these hard heads. You know you can be hard head sometimes. Glory to God. But it's love. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He had to have compassion. He had to be compassionate. Glory to God. He had to be disciplined. You got to be disciplined. Hallelujah. You got to be soft. Moses had spent 40 years in a college of hard knocks tending his father law sheep. God had been developing Moses for this great heroic, heroic task that he had to go to God's people, free them from Pharaoh, their bondage. Hallelujah. God does not call a particular profession. You know, some people think, because I don't have no theology degree. See, that's, that's what man has put on God's work. Glory to God. I, 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 I can't pronounce the words uh, like uh, Professor, Professor Do-Right. Glory to God. I might say of instead of of. I might say for instead of for. But the thing of it is, God knows. Hallelujah. He knows. Hallelujah. I, I, I might not have no curly hair. I might not be streamlined. God didn't call me for that. He called me because of, of a heart, my shepherd heart that God gave me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God calls to a person 
who does not waste time, honey. Glory to God. We can't waste time. Time is important. When we realize that time is like the dollar that you watch in your pocket. Time is important. Time is winding up. Glory to God. And you got to know where you are in Christ Jesus. Don't get mad with me when I tell you what you need to do. Hallelujah. Get up the lawns and do it. Because honey, I men tend to make heaven. Glory to God. A person who becomes an individual of devotion and prayer. And now, with this message that I'm speaking, I understand why God told me during the week about devotion time. Devoting your time, more time to him and in prayer. God wants to talk to all of us. He don't only want to talk to the preacher. He don't only want to talk to the shepherd. God wants to talk to all of us. And there is a place where we have to be in oneself. We got to devote some time to him. Glory to God. God called one to a person who is willing to feed and guide people. To seek and to save and to protect and keep. The people of God. I have been charged with that. Hallelujah. I, it's just like they give right orders. See, they, every, they put everything, the world put everything, Brother Joe, on paper. Uh, You're going to be a supervisor, Brother Joe, and blah, 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 blah. Now you sign that. <laughs> God doesn't do that. Hallelujah. God signs his initial. He engraves it with the Holy Ghost on your heart. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We have to protect the people. Jeremiah 3.15. And I'm closing. So I will give you pastors according to my heart. And when I say my heart, not God's heart. Which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. The bush that was burning, that was not consumed, the bush demanded attention. When God calls, he's calling you for a reason, and he did something special that causes for your attention. The bush bore the presence of God. I stand before you this Sunday as a representative of Christ, speaking on behalf of Christ. I'm giving you what he gave me to give to you. Thank you, Jesus. I'm speaking for Christ. The bush was God's way of speaking to Moses. The bush was God's method of identifying himself. God identified himself through a miraculous event of a bush that was burning but was not consumed. Don't you, when you look at me, honey, I'm a miracle of God. Got no business being where I am today. But thank God for Jesus. Thank God for Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. I feel Jesus. People, preachers, glory to God. I have allowed God to be on the outside of his church and church building and looking in. Oh, glory to God. It's more about worldly things. God is not calling people, but they're calling themselves. Thank you, Jesus. That's why the church is in the situation that it's in now. Oh, thank you, Jesus. 
they want to preach everything but what the Bible says. I, I told that the Lord that I was reading on the media, social media newspaper that prayer is being presented to the Supreme Court. Glory to God. And they sent me a petition to sign about prayer. They don't want nobody to pray to God. And that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to get a law to say that prayer should be abolished. Oh, thank you, Jesus. End time is coming. End time is coming, say. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you. The bush, as I said earlier, was God's method of identifying himself. And the bush is our assurance that God is still at work today. He is the Lord thy God that changeth not. What is it that God has spoken to you about doing for him and his kingdom? Will you do it? Or must he look for another person? And turn your back on God. Christ, in my notes that I wrote, Christ can deliver us. Christ can keep us. He can deliver us from sin to righteousness, from death to life, from hell to heaven, from emptiness to fullness, from loneliness to friendship, from darkness to light, from no direction, honey, and that's where I was, from no direction, he can turn it around to purpose. From meaninglessness to significance. We are all significant to God when we listen to his word. God is on the throne. As I was reading in Revelation, God, with all of his great mercy and grace, even after the millennial period when the devil is released again, God is going to allow everybody to be saved. The atheist, the Muslim, the monk, the Protestant, everybody to be saved. Take the advantage. Don't, if you got it, honey, don't lose it. Keep it. God knows how to get your attention. And don't allow your bush to burn out. Because, see, you can put your bush out. And you can put it out by ceasing from prayer, ceasing from reading the word of God. God called Moses through the bush that did not burn up. How did God call you? Never forget where he brought you from. Father God, we come to say thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your word. Thank you, Lord, for correcting me to tell me what I needed to do and then bring it to the people. Lord, we love you for your word, your unadulterated truth. Lord, bless everyone who pressed their way out here on today. Remember those in the hospital. Lord, remember those of this family in this vineyard who aren't here today. Continue to glorify yourself. Lord, continually to let thou power of the anointing abode in this house for your glory. We give you glory. We give you honor. In Jesus' name. This is our prayer. Come on and give the Lord a hand clap. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 
when you look at the world, honey, the world is in transgression more and more and more. Stop waiting for tomorrow. Stop putting off what you can do today until tomorrow. Don't you know tomorrow is promised to neither one of us. You need to get right with God. And the only way that you can get right with God is you've got to accept the Lord Jesus Christ by faith as your Savior. The one who came down from heaven. Hallelujah. And died shedding his blood to cover our sin. And then the Father threw him over all of our sin into the sea of forgetfulness. Never to remember them. You know how we do. Every time somebody, they all forgive me, but every time you say, I remember when we did this. God doesn't do that. We got to learn to put it into the sea of forgetfulness. Hallelujah. You know, I was telling my son that I say, man, yeah, I know sometimes I holler at you, but it's all a love. And I don't get upset with you. My love is deeper than that upsetness. My love is deeper than that anger. My love is deeper for all of you. God's love for all of us is deeper. We got to learn to go deeper, honey. I remember Bernie Mac used to say, I'm going to bust your head with this hammer to the white meat. You got to learn to get to the white meat, honey. Go deep in God. Hallelujah. We love you. Thank you, Jesus. And what we're going to do is before we take up our offering, we're going to go into our communion while we're in the right mindset. And then we'll do the offertory part of the service. God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. Come on. <clears throat> Come on. Let's praise the Lord. Let's thank him one time. No. We praise him and we thank him because money cannot buy what he did for us. All he requires is a praise, living right. Amen. And we can do that. We should never come short to glorifying and magnifying him in our hand clap, in our foot stomping, in our voices because we can do that. Thank you, Jesus. We certainly do thank and praise God for you. Amen. As we go into this month, amen, as we begin to celebrate the birth of Christ and, and what it means. And it, 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 it's very special to me, especially what we celebrate as, say, the 25th of December because uh, I was in Vietnam one year on the 25th of December, and the helicopter that I was in was shot down, but the Lord pulled me off of that helicopter. I, I will always celebrate Christmas and what it means to me. And when I look back and see where he brought me from, and knowing that at the time, purpose is purpose. Hallelujah. Carry that home with you. Lord, thank you for the purpose that you have. I the, that you have given to me at this time as we change the order of service. Come on, let's read. Amen. At the launch with a hearty thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God for his goodness and his mercy that he has shed upon us in this day. We thank him for the word on today. We thank him for just being in our lives. And we praise God for our little ones here on today, I just get so much joy just seeing them coming every now and then. They show their face in the place, and we praise God for them, how God has just continued to keep it, keep them. And we just praise God for what he's going to do in our midst. We thank God for um, our offering. 
um, just like to remind everyone that this is First Sunday. And First Sunday, we like to try to double up on our offering on First Sunday. I feel that if you, if, if you continue to make a habit of doing things, it becomes easy for you to do with no questions. You do it, and, you, and, 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 and the thing is, you got to know that the money that you're giving here at House of Prayer is going to God's kingdom. Ain't going in the pastor's top, our pocket. It's not going in my pocket. It's not going in nobody else's pocket. It's in God's pocket. And God knows what to do best with it. He does a lot with 10% than we can do without 90%. And I know some of y'all been blessed. I know how God's ever just been pouring out blessings on you because you've been faithful. I said because you've been faithful. When you, when you know you've been faithful, you know that God's been on your side. He's doing what he's supposed to do because you're doing what you're supposed to do. So we praise God for all things. Now we're going to ask that you come under the direction of the usher as the usher shall um, direct you to bring your offering in Jesus' name. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we want to give you thanks for all you've done and all you're doing. We pray your blessings upon this offering that we receive on today, that, oh my God, it be used for the upbuilding of thy kingdom, for these blessings and all of the blessings we ask in your name alone, in Jesus' name. And everyone say amen. amen. Say amen again. We thank God for it. You're given for you cannot be God's given no matter how hard you try. The more you give, the more God just keep giving back to you. You just got to understand that it ain't always in a couple of dollars. That sometimes it's in your health. That sometimes it's in something you needed to do or, you, or some fix, something you need fixed, and somebody just does it for you, you know. A pastor was saying just the other day, he went all the way to the hospital, and they couldn't do nothing for him. But when he got back home, there was some woman that was just willing to serve him. Y'all didn't get that. Hallelujah. So, oh, yes. We thank God for what he has done today and what he's going to do. Continue. Amen. Thank God for all of you who came. Just so good to see Cameron, Brother Cameron, and Sister KK. Amen. She's looking good. Amen. God is good. Been good to her and their family. Our hearts and minds are clear. Shall we stand to our feet? Sister Giselle, you've been quiet. Come on up here and dismiss us prayerfully in Jesus' name. And I want you to talk loud now so everybody can hear you. Let the Lord, let people see your growth. bringing us here. Thank you for everything you did for us. Thank you for the, the prayers. We thank you for the food. We thank you for the water. We thank you for the cars that we were able to drive. We thank you for everything that you have given us. Bless all the people in the world. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.